Today, I'll be reviewing Africa's first legal TV series titled Castle and Castle. Castle and Castle is a Nollywood blockbuster series that is currently trending on Netflix Africa as of today. I see the odds. I see the odds. I see the odds. Monday, S. Biota and Needy McDonald Esquire the third. He is me in Cabulous Simulacrum. Well, by the way, check me out. Check out my look. Do I look the part for this review? Or do I look like um, a law student or a lawyer? You know what I'm saying? Kindly read my look in the comment section below. Castle and Castle has a good cast. Like, the actors in this TV series are A-list actors and they gave me their best performances. The actors include Richard Mofedami Joe, Dakori Egbusin, Echo Edewo, Deyemi Okonlawo, Sheyi Law, and a bunch of other great actors. The director of this TV series is Kayode Kasumo, and it is produced by Mo Abudu and a bunch of other great producers. Some of the uh, actors in this TV series are lawyers, so they have a background history or a background knowledge of law and that makes so much sense now in this video i'll be telling you of the good the bad and the ugly of this tv series however i'll be releasing 13 different videos because as of today we have 13 different episodes of castle and castle with season two inclusive so i will be critiquing each episode and i'll be releasing a video for each episode so stay tuned if you've seen this tv series before you can unwind with me you know what i'm saying but if you've not seen this tv series before kindly stay tuned kindly watch to the end of this video and my next video so that you will know if the tv series is worth your time your energy or even your money okay Episode 1 introduces us to Castle and Castle as a legal firm. It also introduces us to some of the characters of this series. Uh, I also got to know Mr. and Mrs. Castle, played by Richard Mofeda Mejo as Tega Castle and Dakore Egbusin as Remy Castle. So we are given an insight of how their marital status was and it seems as though that they are romantically you know they usually practice Genesis chapter 3 in the fair you know what I'm saying they always do the do <laughs> and then you see when I was still trying to savour the cuteness of the actors in this TV series the directors decided to give me a huge slap not huge a heavy slap of drama and I love it you see I will turn my other cheek so that the director can slap this cheek again because I love that kind of drama you know when I was still getting to understand each characters uh, the best lawyer in Castle and Castle decided to quit he said he's not more interested in working for Castle and Castle. The lawyer was played by Daniel Etim F. Young. His name is Mike in the TV series. And Mike said he's not more working with the firm. He's the best lawyer, although he won the firm a good contract, you know, with a big client. So he won that court case. And you know, they were all celebrating and jubilating. And the next minute, Mike said, I know he felt under honored, you know, he felt under acknowledged, under paid. He felt that he should be more, you know, to the firm, like a partner and all of that bull crap. <laughs> well, so I like that part, you know, that slap from the director of, that slap of drama from the director made so much sense. Episode one also gave us an overview of the lawyers the, uh, of the subplot so i'm enjoying the story from one of the lawyers her name is uh, Ineka. you know they are giving us an insight of how a marital life is uh, i love it and then episode one also tells us of their clients one of the clients you know that had 
copyright issues and how they were able to solve it so it was all interesting and it was all good now let's go to the good part of this tv series okay Now you see, I have so many beautiful, fantastic points for the good parts of this TV series. And I, I, in fact, let me tell you of the number one. Now the number one that I observed in this TV series is the setting. The, the, the setting is so beautiful. I love the scenery. I love the interior decoration of the offices that, that, that is used. You know, the offices in Castle and Castle make so much sense. I love the combination of nude color palettes and um, a pop of color. That makes so much sense. You see, if I am a lawyer, I would want to work in castle and castle, you know? Just because of the interior decoration last one, I want to work there because I love good interior decoration. And the directors of this TV series, the crew, they did a good job for doing that. Now, my second observation is the costume the costume makes so much sense you know what do you expect lawyers don't dress shabbily they look cute prim and proper especially when they are in their place of work and they achieved that in this tv series they depicted that i love the costume the outfit of each actor in this tv series then moving on to actors and performances you see each of the actors in this TV series did a good job, a fantastic job, you know, especially in a formal environment. But I would be picking my best performances from the informal people that brought comedy to this TV series. You know, the whole episode is all in this big film and there were some funny characters that caught my attention and they are my best performances for episode one now the one on my list right here is mr monday mr monday is also a worker in castle and castle he does um, documentation file handling and you know all those kind of things in the in the firm i love his use of english so impeccable so exquisite that man ate his lines and he left no crumb he ate his script and he left no crumbs I love the way it flowed with the use of English. You know what I'm saying? It's so beautiful, like beautiful, guys. <laughs> the second actor that I enjoyed his performance is Sheyi Law. Sheyi Law acted as the pastor. He is a client to Castle and Castle, and <laughs> he gave me the drama. Make it a glorious hallelujah. Sheila Law naturally is a funny man. Now, him now acting in a TV series, he brought his A game. <laughs> he brought everything as he did. Oh, he gave me a Zonto style, Shaku Shaku, and everything. Then the next uh, best performance on my list right here is um, Sister Enkiru. <laughs> can remove my glasses sister in Kiru played by Chigo oh my goodness she came with pastor she you know she's the current star or would I say the backup current star or hype man of pastor <laughs> our hype last song is out of this world you know with a hallelujah oh Hallelujah. You know, I just love all those adjusts that she was adding to everything. She's a very good hype woman. No? She, in fact, she deserves a cold bottle of Zobo and plenty pop off, chin chin, ice cream, everything. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now, I also love the concept of the story. I love the way each character was introduced. I love the plot and the subplot. And I love the fact that the legal firm um, makes use of real life issues okay they make use of uh, they make use of real life court cases like um, Aminat Ginodu's um, court case was mentioned in this law firm and it, that that name that was being mentioned struck my heart is that word good struck my heart well I just had a thinking about that name so I went to check it up on Google and voila it's a real life 
court case and i just like the fact that that was infused into this tv series i love the cliffhanger at the end of episode one it left me hanging truly <laughs> you know in my mind i had so many questions as, as to what ben looks like ben castle what would become of mike at the end of the day stella stella is the receptionist of the uh, firm or would i say the manager of the firm did she eventually find true love so i love that cliffhanger at the end because it kept my mind wondering i want to see the next episode in total i give the concept of the story is good 80 percent they deserve it now i also love the sound and the background sound effect oh child it made sense you know i love it this is what i'm talking about this is talent at its peak then the editing of this tv series is nicely done beautifully done cinema cinematography on a good one hmm. the cinematography is so good I love the way the camera was handled you know they gave us different shots establishing shots close-up shot like all the little details in that TV series just you know gave me so much life and I'm loving it now moving on to the bad and ugly of this TV series of episode one hmm the number one on my list right here is the scene where mr and mrs castle broke an important news to the major lawyers in the firm now that scene uh that scene should be done in a more discreet uh, uh room now mr and mrs castle came from meeting with a client and you know they were sad because the clients gave them a bad um, news a bad report and as soon as they stepped their feet into the lobby you know into the waiting room of their firm of castle and castle they summoned the lawyers to come and they broke the news to them they told them that m and g holdings is no more in partnership with them and m and g holdings is one of their major stakeholders one of the major accounts for castle and castle i do not know too much of law but i feel that that important information should have been said in the boardroom mr and mrs castle should have made a public notice for all the lawyers to assemble in the boardroom instead of them breaking out that news in the waiting room that's just what i feel now another bad and ugly of this tv series of episode one is about the clients that they uh the client's issue that they resolved it was a copyright infringement issue and fine it was resolved amicably between both parties but it was not we with the viewers did not see a legal signing between these two parties this is a legal firm that we are talking about now the the two lawyers involved in this case were Deyemi Okonawa and um Ekwe Dewo Ekwe Dewo acted as a NECA so they were the two uh, lawyers that were involved in uh, solving these copyright issues between these two parties they solved the issue and they just said it with their mouth I did not see any legal signing between two parties you know the, the the director should have allowed us to see you know to see that that would make it more real so those are the two bad and ugly from the TV series not that deep and I just really love this TV series so much and I would recommend it so I would rate this TV series episode 1 a sweet 70% alright guys I'll be rounding up this video here I hope you enjoyed this review um, please make sure you subscribe and see you on my next video which will be episode 2 of Castle and Castle um, bye for now